These are my tools to create awesome PS4 tutorials. Let's do this. Hey guys, this is Versatile from Pride of Phoenix Media. In today's video tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can dump your PS4 games on your jailbroken 5.05 machine and use the latest dumper and back up your PS4 games to USB. And then from that process, we're going to convert it into a package file, fake package file actually. And then from there, you can install your game to your PS4 and have a lot of good time. So the beauty of this is, of course, you get to store all your games on your unit and also it will save and extend the life of your laser on your PS4, which is pretty awesome. Okay, so there's some basic tools that we need ahead of time. So in the video description, I'll have a link to where you can download the fake package tools and also this PS4 dumper. So go ahead, download those, save those to your desktop or somewhere safe on your computer. The next part is you wanna make sure that your USB device, whether it's a thumb drive or an external hard drive, make sure it's formatted as FAT32. So like for example, right click your device, go to format, uh, and go to XFAT. Now, I had that option previously. Now, it doesn't show that anymore. I don't know why that is, but I do want to point out that if I go to right click and go to properties, it does say XFAT. So maybe it's a Windows thing. If you do have issues with formatting as XFAT, let me know. I'll put a link in the video description to other freeware tools that you can use to force format your external drive as XFAT. And then the last but not least, on your actual USB device, you can have other files if you wish, but the most important thing that you need is copy and paste that dumper.cfg from that uh, PS4 dumper zip file that you downloaded. And if you were to open this up with like Notepad, for example, the main item is make sure to split equals zero. This allows dumping in the game and also the patch. It keeps everything together, real simple. You don't have to mess with anything else. So that's what I like to do. Go ahead and file, save it on your root of your USB device, whether it has a hard drive or USB thumb drive, go ahead, eject that USB device, plug it into the USB port closest to the Blu-ray disk drive. And then from here, what you wanna do is run your favorite web exploit method that allows them um, to host the latest payload. For the dumper, I'm using LZF web host tool that has the latest dumper payload in it. So we're gonna be demonstrating that for today's tutorial, but you can definitely use your Android method, your ESP method. If you wanna go ahead and use the brand new a web host offline cache method, by all means, go ahead and do that. So you got a lot of power, a lot of options, pick whatever fancies you. So with that said, let's jump straight into the next portion of this video tutorial and let's do this. Okay, so here we are at the main menu of the PS4. Let's do this, log in. What we're gonna do is um, let's go to settings and let's go to user's guide and connect to my web exploit LSEF. 5.05. Now the trick here, I don't know if it's true or not, but let's run hen. Once we have run hen, then we're gonna run the dumper program. I've read somewhere in the past, and I've always been doing it this way, is that if you run the hen first, and then you run the dumper second, it makes it a faster process when it rips it to your USB hard drive device. If that's true or not, I have no idea, but it seems to be working out pretty well. If one of you guys out there say, oh, running the dumper first, it's just as fast as running hen plus a dumper. Okay, I'm okay with that. Just let me know. But otherwise, we've done that already. So what we're gonna do is insert my game disc. And we see that it's uh, not inserted yet because the disc icon is gray. Once the disc is there, there we go. We're gonna start the game. And then uh, we'll continue through the process. I do wanna note that previously to this, I did put the disc game in, installed some pre game content to the hard drive so that saves some time so then when you do the dumper method that assumes your game already has installed all of its files to the hard drive okay so that's one clarification i do want to make right there another clarification that i want to make that i did not showcase that is make sure your power save settings make sure you turn that completely off the last thing you want to do is go through this dumping process and your ps4 shuts down too early Okay, so the game, we're, what we're gonna do is wait until we get to the main menu. Once we're there, go back to the main XMB screen and just sit there. Don't do anything. Don't go to settings. Don't don't open up any other app because what's gonna happen is you're gonna break that dumping process. I've learned it the hard way. So learn from my experience and just sit here. And eventually we'll see like little progress updates that pop up that shows like disc ripping progress, like 3%, 5%, so on and so forth. Yep, there you go, 3%. Once it has fully ripped the game to the internal hard drive, it's 
then going to copy to the external hard drive or USB device, and then the PS4 will shut itself down. So that's normal. And this may take a couple hours depending on the game in question. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna wait a little bit here and then we're gonna cut to the next portion of the video tutorial on steps on what to do on my PC. So let's do this. All right, so the PS4 has successfully completed its copying process from the PS4 to the USB hard drive. It already shut down the PS4 by itself. So once that, that is completed, go ahead and plug that USB hard drive or thumb drive into your computer. And this is what the file structure is gonna look like. So if I go into it, you're gonna have a DAC complete file and it's gonna have a folder, which is basically the name of the game with all the ripped contents to it. So next thing what we want to do is go to your PS4 dumper program, folder actually, run the gen p4.executable and go to this folder button and go ahead and select that top level folder that's on your USB drive. So here it is, say okay, generate.gp4. And then once it's completed, done, click on save and you can save it to the root of your USB device. So let's go ahead and do that, save. Okay, great. And next we're gonna run the fake package tool. So go into that folder here and go to the Orbis uh, pubgen.executable. Go to file, go to open, navigate to your USB drive, select that GP4, say open, go to build. All this default stuff stays the same. Output path, go ahead and say select. And for purposes of this tutorial, I'm just gonna dump it on the same USB hard drive. So let's go ahead and say save and say build. Now, depending on your computer, if you don't have like a USB 3.0, it might be faster to copy the entire game folder to your computer, like to your desktop or to a, a different partition on your hard drive where you have some more space. And then after you've done that process, go ahead, run this program to create the package file and then save it uh, on your computer and then transfer it to your external hard drive or go from computer to external hard drive. I just recently upgraded my uh, recording PC to add USB 3.0, which is great. So now I can actually compile the package file on the actual hard drive itself, the external, and it's much quicker than using USB 2.0. So basically the bottom line is play around with your setup if you're okay with the speeds that you're getting with compiling the package file on your USB device, by all means go ahead and do that directly. If you find that during your, your experience that it's faster to copy the game folder to your computer first, make a package file on your computer, and then go ahead and transfer that package file to your USB device. By all means, go ahead and do that. I realize that's a little bit more steps, a little bit more cumbersome, so to speak, but as long as you know what you're doing, then I'm okay with that. So this process will take a while, depending on your computer setup and your USB device setup as well. So let's say it takes maybe a few minutes to maybe half an hour, whatever it's gonna be. In the end, once you get your package file, save that to the root directory of your USB device, not inside a folder, just the root. And then once that is done, go ahead, eject your USB hard drive, your thumb drive, plug it into your PS4 leftmost port. And then um, in the next portion of this video tutorial, I'll show you how to install that package file and show you that proof, yes, it does work with my particular PS4. So I'm not gonna show this entire process of creating the image file because all it's going to do is actually just create the package file. So let's, with that said, let's just straight jump straight to the next portion of the video tutorial. Let's do this. Okay, so let's do this. So let's go ahead and let's log into my local account here. And then what we're gonna do, I've already done this before, but I forgot to mention during the re recording process is make sure you delete your existing game content off your hard drive. Once that's done, go through the usual process here. I'm gonna run hen. So once after I run hen, then we'll go to the debug settings basically and install the package file. So go to settings and then we're gonna scroll down all the way to debug settings, game, package installer, there's the package file. Now this particular package file, I think it's roughly 35 or 40 gigabytes, something like that. So it does take a little bit of time to install. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna basically fast forward to the end of this footage and we'll continue with the rest of this tutorial. Let's do this. Okay, so we're just about done waiting. There we go. Package file is installed. Let's go ahead, go back to the main XMB screen and run it. As you can see, we had no disk icon. It's just running from the hard drive internal. And this is awesome. So here we're gonna go through the loading screens. Eventually we'll get to the main screen and ta-da, you know, this game is working. So if you have an you know extensive uh, PS4 library, you want to have the convenience of 
ripping it, ripping those games to your internal hard drive, then uh, by all means go ahead and do this P PS4 dumper method. It is pretty cool. I like it a lot. And yes, there's other apps out there that allow you to save your game content on your external hard drive, but that's for another day. So that's today's video game tutorial for the PS4. You guys have any nitpicky questions, leave a comment here on the YouTube page and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Once again, thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.